Rodolfo, welcome to Nerd Stalker Macworld Edition. Tell us what the application is. It's a really quick and easy way to create quantitative diagrams. That means that we're basically drawing graphs. Use illustration tools just to draw right on the graph. If I hold the D key, I can quickly draw a trend line, and that's going to be smooth. I can make some individual points, and I can also represent, you know, bars or different point types. I can change connections back to straight. And that's great, but a lot of times you really do need to work with real data, so let's trash this and go over to my numbers spreadsheet. And as I said, I could, I could do this in numbers, but it would be really finicky. I'm just going to select all this data and copy it. And then in on the graph sketcher, I'm going to paste as line. And you can see my data is brought in. It's beautiful already. And all I need to do is manipulate it a little bit directly on the canvas. I'm not going to type and nudge and that sort of thing. I'm just going to drag and drop. The great thing is I'm still working with real data. So if I go over to my data inspector, I can see all the data just like it's in numbers. But as I'm drawing, I'm creating numbers. So OmniGraph Sketcher is great, but it works even better with OmniGraphle, which is our diagramming and page layout application. If I copy this graph as image, and then in OmniGraphle, paste, I've placed the PDF, but I can also easily quit OmniGraphle, or excuse me, I can quit OmniGraph Sketcher, and this data is now embedded in the Grapple document. If I double click the placed image, I can edit it live. I can delete this label and hit save. And my Grapple document is updated automatically. So Grapple is great for laying out, laying out those spatial relationships, uh, making diagrams, making floor plans. Graph Sketcher is specifically for those quantitative diagrams. Anytime you're using axes or numbers, you want to take, take out Graph Sketcher, draw your idea, and then place it into Grapple. Wow, fantastic. Looks like an awesome application, man. Yeah, it's only $30, and uh, it's $20 for educational users, which is a great market for us as well. Uh, we think you'll like it. Go to omnigroup.com and check it out. If you have any questions, just send feedback from the help menu, and we'd be happy to answer them. Awesome. Thanks so much for being on Nerds Talker, Dave. Thank you very much. This is the ShowWX Laser Pico Projector for Microvision. It is a small device that will connect to an iPod, iPhone, MacBook, laptop, netbook, etc. and allow you to project large images from small devices. So it's a, it's a projector sitting on top of an iPhone, is that correct? Yeah, that's exactly right. Plug and play projector, it'll take the video out from your iPod or your iPhone and project it uh, in a large format on any wall, a surface, a napkin, a scarf, anything that you got we can project onto and the images are always in focus. So as you guys can see he's just moving the camera like closer and further away and uh, it appears to be staying in focus like uh, throughout, right? That's exactly right. I mean basically the way this works is it's like a laser pointer it's just that it's a laser pointer being steered by a mirror and changing color really fast. How much are these guys running? Five hundred dollars. And uh, so what's the go forward plan with this guy? It'll be available starting in March from the microvision.com website. Okay, great. And uh, for any contact information, et cetera, where, where do we go? Hit us up on the web at microvision.com. And can you spell that out for us? That's micro, M-I-C-R-O-V-I-S-I-O-N. Awesome. Device looks really cool. Thanks so much for uh, being on Nerdstalker, man. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Chris Klein with Smart Technologies. So Chris, what is Smart Technologies? Smart Technologies is a global leader in interactive whiteboard uh, manufacturing. So we've been making something called the Smart Board, which a lot of schools, trainers, and people know about. We've been doing that since about 1991 is when we shipped our first ever interactive whiteboard. Ever since 1991 when we shipped the first board, which we now have over one and a half million boards that we put out there, which are our traditional front projection boards. They look like dry erase boards, but they're run by the computer, able to save, annotate, all of that. We've always believed in the power of touch. So ever since 91, we've been doing touch. And it's wonderful now that we're seeing Apple, we're seeing Microsoft, we're seeing all these companies that are understanding the power of touch. No special tools needed to be able to manipulate your data. So what we've done is we've said, what else can we do? We believe in the overall concept of collaborative learning, collaborative teaching, uh, working together, communication. So one of the things we did is we've also said, what if we were able to do that in a horizontal form factor? 
what for a tabletop or something along those lines. And what we have here is we actually have a prototype of what this might look like for a kiosk location, for corporate boardrooms, for meeting centers, and it's really driven by the different applications that could be put on there to provide true multi-user, more than one person, true multi-touch. I've seen 78 individual touches being on this table, all being recognized as discrete objects. So it really opens up the possibility and creativity of what you're able to do when you're working with a group of people. So we make great hardware, but what we're actually doing here at the show is I'm the manager of our ecosystem group. The ecosystem group is, a, is our group to interface with third-party developers, hardware, software companies that want to work more closely with our products. So if you would like to learn more about that, you can go to www.smarttech, S-M-A-R-T-T-E-C-H.com slash ecosystem and they would be able to go there, join our developer network for free, they're able to download all of our SDKs, and we're looking for that next great app for true multi-user use of our products. Education, education is the largest, form, is the largest mar market that we're involved in. Um, but we, do, we also belong in corporate, government, military. What we like to say is anytime you have more than two people together talking about and working together on something, our products make sense for that type of negotiation, meeting, conversation. As we look at what we're able to do with touch, on this prototype table, for example, we have a flipbook application. We've actually installed this in our corporate briefing center with the sole intent and purpose of people coming in, sitting down, and while they're waiting to take a tour, they're able to flip through all of our brochures. That opens up the possibility of what if we were to do this in a coffee table format. So currently we're not really in the consumer market. We make the technology that we're letting the market tell us where they want us to go next. This is our education product catalog. And the nice thing is I'm able to just grab a corner and I can flip through, I can look at the, read what I want to find more out about, I can zoom in. Then when I'm finished with this one, I can shrink it down, pass it over to someone else. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and grab uh, our sketchbook. So with this, I'm able to go ahead and draw and annotate like you can on all of our other software and hardware applications. But when I come back to that page, it remembers my annotations. So this is a great creative way for people to sit down, make doodles, jot down notes during a meeting, and still have that digital copy even though they're not at a large board. They're just doing it across the table. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for being on Nerd Soccer. Thank you very much. Thank you.